All right, I am back with the Buffalo plaid glitter cup that we are doing. My cat is also here to say hello. Um, this is Indy. Indy, say hello to the fans. <laughs> say hello, Indy. This is a normal night for me. She'll just get up and get down. She'll probably jump back up again. So, back at it. When I left, I was telling you to put your Mod Podge in your condiment cup or whatever kind of cup that you have available for something like this. We are making the Glitter Buffalo Plaid, if you are just tuning in. On a 30 ounce skinny tumbler, we have taped it off and we are ready to go. All right, so my color choices again were the dark blue, the light blue holographic, the silver, and the white. I'm also using double sided tape for the lines. The first colors that I'm using are the light blue and the white. So you're going to want, let me move you over, to start in one row that I've noticed so your glue doesn't start drying up on you. And you're going to want to make it cover. It doesn't have to be super thick, but you want to make sure it is all covered. I go and I put my colors on right away. I don't, I do not wait and go ahead and do a few squares at a time. You can if you feel comfortable that way, but Mod Podge usually dries pretty quickly from what I've noticed. And I would rather only do it one time than two. So. And I just poured my glitter out into a little Dixie cup so it is easier to shake onto the cup. Okay. So you can see, even with the white, you can see where your Mod Podge has been laid. And just sprinkle it on. And I can already see that I laid it on a little too thick in some spots. So I will have to go back in and reapply. I will wait until the Mod Podge is dry at that point. So you will want to make sure that you don't have any thick lines in between your Mod Podge, which I'm going to tell you right now is not easy apparently. I didn't I don't think I had this problem when I used my foam brush, but I also couldn't get the foam brush into the little corners of the square. So I guess it's up to you on which brush you want to try. You could always go from one and go to the next as long as you have both of them on hand. When I did my first cup, I did not have these on hand. Actually, I did. I knew I had them. I just could not find them, which is a typical around my house until I don't need them anymore. And then I'll find them. And it drives me freaking bonkers. And I'm sure it drives everyone else bonkers around me. And then don't stick your finger in your freshly done Mod Podge and glitter. Okay. It's always a helpful hint. I must really be nervous because I don't usually mess up so much on a cup. I'm 
It is okay if you get Mod Podge on the tape. Before I sprinkle glitter, I just take my finger and lightly wipe it off. When you take the tape off, it's not going to matter. But it makes it so I know where the glitter is actually at. You can see I have a couple thick lines in there. I am going to try to just lightly skim them away. Let's see what I come up with. So then you want to just do this process all the way around the cup on all of your white squares. Unfortunately, I cannot fast forward this for you guys, but then again, you can see where somebody might mess up because I will have lots of bloopers that I cannot figure out how to erase. I don't claim to be a professional. So I'm told that I should talk more. I apologize that I don't. I'm concentrating and I'm nervous. I want to make sure that this tutorial helps everyone make cups especially this cup because I was so nervous to make it I've, I've seen so many people make a buffalo plaid and a lot of people made the buffalo plaid without the small lines but I can't be original I kind of have, have to be original I can't be a cookie cutter I have to kind of go out of the box with my stuff so, I learned how to do this method, and it seems to be f super fancy and much sought after, so I'm hoping this helps you guys. That's fine. <laughs> Row one done. Now that that's done, I'm going back to the first one that I did that I not only put my finger in, but I also made the Mod Podge too thick. And I'm just gonna go and dab right over it. I don't recommend going and dragging your paintbrush with the Mod Podge hard so it doesn't pull up the rest of the glitter. Just slightly pull it and that will help create a smooth surface versus the ridges that I left the first time. And since my cup is prepped white, you might, or your cup is prepped white, you might have to go back through a second time to make it full of color. You can see this one has been done twice and this one has been done once. If we were to have prepped our cup with blue, we might not have to do that, but since we're using white and silver, I didn't want to spray it blue so it would give us the full color of those two lighter colors. Okay, so this is the tricky part. So you don't touch your already Mod Podge lines. I stick my hand inside of the cup because I am clumsy. And then just press down. Just make sure you're getting inside the corners. That's the point of the little brush. 
and I also even though I usually put stickers on the bottom of my cup with my website www.queenbeehive be the letter not the animal um, I still put a little bit of glitter down the edge of it so then if my sticker doesn't cover the whole bottom at least then I have a little bit of coverage This line here is the line that got pulled up, so it will be interesting to see with this light blue holographic how many coats we'll need to cover that. see I have a glue on the tape it is okay I just do a little wipe down so it's not a whole ton so then you're not wasting glitter and so you can tell that your squares are even I don't know what I'm supposed to say, so. I do have a helper in the back. He's being very quiet. And he says, I'm too quiet. But I'm not really talking to anybody. I can't go live. If I were live, I could answer any questions via live, but if you do have any questions that I'm not answering in this tutorial, please feel free to leave it in the comments. Or you can go on to my Facebook page, The Hive and Apparel of uh, Hive Apparel and Vinyl Designs. And uh, you can leave me a message there. Um, I also have an Instagram. It's also the Hive Apparel and Vinyl Designs. Just look for the B. If you have any questions, I will definitely try to answer them the best of my capabilities. I'm just trying to make sure that I can get this video finished for the ladies in my glitter group but also wanted to share it with everyone here in case if any more people had any questions from a non-pro a chair up you're not in the video come on just bring a chair up sorry I was out of video there
Just make sure when you're doing it, you get right up inside the corners. That was the hardest part for me with the foam brush. But with this angled tip, you can just bring it right in there. And if it's easier for you to put more Mod Podge on, three of them, two of them, that is completely your call. I do not because I feel like my Mod Podge dries way too quick. And I want as full coverage as I can get of glitter without having to do it a bunch of times. see the glitter shook off into that square I'm okay with that because all these squares that are white are going to be the same color And you can see those three little lumps. You want to try your best to get those out. So I've been taking my brush and just wiping it on the edge of my Mod Podge holder. And then going back through and just lightly removing them. Almost done with these squares. It feels like you'll never get done with it when you're on the first or second row, but once you hit the third row, it goes pretty quickly. Laughing all the way, ha ha ha. Making spirits bright. You'd think I would hear a lot more Christmas music being that I work with Santa, but we actually don't hear any Christmas music right now. It's pretty crazy. Hey. I do, however, turn on Christmas music at work before Thanksgiving. Yes, I know. It's a shame. There's some people that say it should be against the law, but I, however... I guess I'm a big rule breaker trying to listen to Christmas music early. But the Mall of America doesn't start their Christmas music until right before Thanksgiving. And we're in a studio. And Santa has a microphone so we don't get to have music on. In our break room, Santa has music going, Christmas music, but...
I feel like if you have to get your Christmas shopping done early, you might as well listen to Christmas music early. Let me undo that. My helper is taking off my Fitbit because it's getting stuck. Two more to go, guys. We're almost there. I'm actually really excited for this cup because I love blue. I'm more of a teal and purple person, but this blue is just as pretty as a teal would be. I'm almost thinking I should have double stuck this little container down, but I get to see how, it, if you don't, how it, you can keep it down. Just hold your arm on it. Then if you're clumsy like me, chances are you'll dump it at some point, but hopefully those chances are when it's not sitting on top of your glitter that you want to put back in the container. Pull up a chair, Bert. Stay a while. My fans want you to stay. I don't know about you, but I can't have people just standing over my shoulder. So, we're having Bert sit with us. Say hello to Bert. Sorry, <laughs> can't really move it that far. I have the the stand pretty stuck because like I said my luck isn't all that great and it was trying to tip forward which would then have just made a big mess let me move that If you're very particular on your glue and your lines, I would definitely recommend using a smaller tip brush so you don't get the uh, Mod Podge on the tape. I, however, am more of a get it done type of person, but get it done almost completely correct. So I do have a paintbrush. I am getting in the corners but I am making kind of a mess on the tape. And it might look like I'm using a lot of glitter, but I'm really not. Most of it's going right back on to the freezer paper, which then I'll dump back into the cup and be able to reuse because none of this glue or none of this glitter has any glue on it. There's glue in this and glitter in this, but that is okay. Sounds like we're listening to lullabies. Right?
I'll be right back. This is too much right now. <laughs> My cup that I'm working on, that was actually perfect before I put epoxy on it, just fell off of, oh no. Okay, normally you should not touch epoxy without gloves on but I need to oh sh shoot um, get me this purple hmm? give me this purple cup right here all right so on that note y'all I am going to stop this video and I will be right back because I need to get this epoxy off my hands because I am allergic to epoxy.